Hi, I'm Hazel, and today let's take a look at the new catch-up gear coming in patch 9.1. There is more than one way to get it, but all of it is from Corthia, the new outdoor zone added to the mob. The fastest way to get the new catch-up gear is by purchasing these Corthian armaments from the vendor. It costs 1,000 Stygia per piece, and you get these from the Death's Advance Quartermaster as soon as you are at friendly reputation with Death's Advance. That is the new mainline reputation that you're going to find and grind rep with in Corthia. These pieces are bind on account, so you can mail them to your alts, and they are for a random slot. This is not a benthic gear situation where you get to send your alt boots or pants. You send your alts armaments and they turn into something. Because you can just mail them to a fresh character right away, these are awesome to give your alt something to wear before they've done a thing at level 60. There's lots of stuff for your alts to get in Corthia, but they will have a nicer time doing it if they're not wandering in at item level 135. The other way to get pieces of this Corthian catch-up gear is just playing through Corthia. You're going to get these from a variety of things, including weekly quests, you can get them from assaults, sometimes they will show up as a reward from dailies. Just living your regular life doing 9.1 things is going to feed you pieces of gear. When they drop for you, they are not account bound. Those ones are for that character. All of this gear starts at item level 200 and can be upgraded six times to a maximum item level of 233. For reference, the gear from the normal raid next year is item level 226. Keep in mind, getting a full set of upgraded gear is going to require a lot of outdoor play. So that begs the question, how do you upgrade it? For that, we are going to need the second reputation in Corthia, which is the Archivist's Codex. To unlock this faction, you're going to need to do a short quest line uh, in Corthia. It is not time gated and you can do that right away on the first day of the patch. This is a broker faction and their whole thing is relics and research and stuff. For the upgrades and for this faction in general, you are going to want to loot relic fragments, turn them in for rep and cataloged research, and then you can spend that research on all kinds of things. So the relic fragments are going to come from outdoor Corthia content. So you loot those from treasures, you loot those from rares, and you will occasionally get a couple just killing random stuff. When you turn in relic fragments, you are going to get rep, which you will need, and you're going to get cataloged research, which you will need for everything. Uh, that research is used to buy a lot of useful stuff. It can buy sockets for the new gear. It can buy conduit upgrades. You buy unlocks on the vendor once you've reached them with rep. Um, you can unlock the ability to upgrade your gear to the higher upgrade tiers, and you can also unlock these zone upgrades that will make farming relics and therefore rep and catalog research easier. So this is kind of a ramping rep grind. It's going to start out quite slow, but then as you get the rep, you'll be able to unlock the ability to get relics and therefore rep and research faster, if that makes any sense. On top of that, catalog research is also used to directly upgrade the Corthia gear. Once you have your piece of gear and the research, you can upgrade it at any upgrade NPC. There is one conveniently in the Archivist Codex cave, or you can use the ones in Oribos or in your Covenant uh, hall. Those high ranks are locked behind a lot of research and also renown and also Archivist Codex upgrades, so you are going to be here a while. At the end of the day, for most people, I think the point of this system is that you can use your Stygia existing currency to buy item level 200 pieces for your alts just to kind of get them off the ground. And then a character that is getting into endgame or getting caught up is going to get pieces fairly quickly while also earning the rep and currency they need to upgrade them. So kind of quality of life for new characters getting into endgame and for fresh alts. I don't think as a main set that many people are going to use this because it's the same currency that you use to buy sockets and conduit upgrades. If you are going to get better gear or even close gear from something else like Mythic Plus or Raid or PvP or your vault, I would not invest your research into upgrades because you're going to need that research for so many other things. However, if your main endgame is solo outdoor content, then you're going to get a lot out of this and you're going to be able to eventually end up in a set of full 233 gear, which is the best thing you're going to get short of heroic raid or like equivalent PvP or Mythic Plus. It'll be nice to have a continued thing to keep spending Stygia on after you have gotten the cosmetics for the new Death's Advance vendor, since you're not going to need Stygia for sockets or conduit upgrades anymore. Those ones are capped at the old item levels. You will want the new ones for research instead. If you have a lot of alts that you're going to want this gear on and you want to prepare for 9.1, you could farm Stygia now because it is the same currency that you'll use to buy those armaments. I wouldn't worry about it too, too much though, especially because bad RNG could really, really do you. If you have a lot of alts and it might not be so bad, but I could see a world where you have just one character that you really want 200 stuff on and it just keeps turning into like bracers. Um, I, I wish you the best of luck that that doesn't happen because from, from what it seems like it really could. And that's the catch-up gear situation in 9.1. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.